gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you very much. Years ago, I, like many women, suffered a miscarriage. I should have been able to hold my son in my arms, but that was not God's plan. Years later, I still grieve that loss. And not the loss of a generic cluster of cells, but an actual baby who would have been about this size. My son had his own unique set of DNA, fingerprints, blood type, and a heartbeat. Every marker that we use to identify a human being. Pregnancy is difficult on a policy and a personal level. But to deny that a child growing inside a woman is nothing more than an inconvenience is to ignore the value of life. Losing a child changed who I was and is the same for most women. And we can't pretend that this loss doesn't have lifelong consequences. And instead of promoting ways for women to end their pregnancies, we should be helping expectant mothers find the medical, emotional, and financial support they need. But that's never been the Democrats' focus. The party that claims to protect women is actively supporting policies that devalue the lives of women and children across the globe. Their policies have turned the human trafficking of children into a multi-billion dollar industry and supported a terrorist regime's Afghanistan's takeover that went from educating and valuing the contribution of women to whipping them in the streets. This bill is called the Women's Health Protection Act, but make no mistake, no woman is protected under this bill. Rather, it authorizes killing for the sake of convenience. Innocent human lives are either valued or they're not. This bill is merely another example of the dehumanizing policy platform the Democrats have adopted. America is founded on the protection of life. As a Texas woman, a mother, an American, I encourage the chamber to reject this barbaric bill and embrace life. I yield back. The gentlewoman.